Hello everybody, Mr. Mr. Hockey here, and today we're going to talk about the Carolina Hurricanes sweeping their way past the New York Islanders and into the Eastern Conference Finals. Quick rundown of the games. Game 1 was 1-0 Carolina, and overtime Game 2 was 2-1. Two game 3 and 4 were both 5-2. to two. Some key points. Um... Peter Morazic was really, really good. 31 saves in Game 1. Then got injured in Game 2. And Curtis McElhinney became the oldest goaltender in NHL history to make his first career postseason start at 35 years old. He also... um, And he was all very good, especially in Games 3 and 4. Um, Justin Williams' leadership for the Carolina Hurricanes was... Phenomenal. He really helped the young guys. Um, Carolina's loud stadium also disrupted the uh, Islanders in games three and four when the Islanders really needed it. Uh, Sebastian Ajo was really, very good for the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, And then it's just New York scoring was not there they only scored five goals all series their stars weren't there when they needed it their goaltending wasn't there when they needed it and it just turned into a disaster from the start quick series summary um because this series was not that long um jordan stall in game one was clutching overtime it only didn't take him that long shot Carried him to the corner, and Robin Leonard was not fast enough getting to his post, and Jordan Stahl hit the empty net, to me- and so that was the only goal in the one nothing win. Um, then, Carol- then game two, New York was winning, going into the third, and then bang, Warren Fogle tie game. Then you know Nita Ryder, forty eight seconds later, Carolina was. T- was up to one and they would hold it to take a two nothing series lead. That was the game when Peter Morales got hurt. He was moving from across his crease and he just I think I, I, he hasn't really been really released what he did. He just I think I believe he pulled something and that was that and he didn't want to take a risk because they had Curtis Macklin. He played great. And then in games four and five it was total destruction by the Hurricanes, they were just pouring it on. New York could do nothing about it. Um, And that was the series. I'll talk about New York. Um, They have, they exceeded expectations this season. What they could do, they had a new coach, Barry Trotz, who won the Stanley Cup with the Washington Capitals last year. They exceeded expectations, but uh, those expectations, what they could exceed, was not um, good enough. I think they they need to they need to have two things. Well, uh, they need to have a couple things. First, they need to really wait for Matthew Barzell, Brock Nelson, Josh Bailey, and all those other guys to fully develop into the players that the scouting department has thought that they could be they need to let them develop into those players they need to get some top blue liners because they're def- they're never going because in the playoffs when you get down to the the nitty gritty um you need those defensemen that can play shutdown defense for a long time um and you need an elite goalie robin Leonard is not an elite goalie he may have got you this far but that's not an elite goalie. A lot of teams get to the second round. Um, think that the New York Islanders still have a lot of steps to do. Meanwhile, the Carolina Hurricanes, I still think, even though despite going now they're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, um, they can still need to improve. They're still going to have to get a guy for Peter Morazic. They're going to need a backup goaltender for one. McElhinney retires. They're, go- they're going to need some other the defensemen. Um, they're very vulnerable on defense. Um, 
One thing I did notice in this series is that and have been noticing in the playoffs is the teams who have, who sweep the next round they come out flat because well they've had days to rest um they've and and they kind of are slow hitting back to rank while the other team to have just finished their series like the Hurricanes they came out because they're used to doing this already that's what I think also held, also held New York back in the first two games until they really got the feel for it. And um, I think the Hurricanes, they played really well in the with the team they have against the team that they were playing. They played really well, really well in the areas that they had to play in, and that's why they won the series. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember to share these videos for to to your friends and family and everybody else you know um don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below um whether you think um the hurricanes are are getting this bunch of jerks team that they've been called by don cherry are they getting this far just by luck or are they getting or are they actually a legitimate shot to go win the cup i think so uh, don't forget to, again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.